people are gonna come for you too. I just wanna go home. Live in your bubble here behind your wall. You have no idea what the world is. You hear so many scary stories of goings on with people your age. How would it be to have Liam Neeson return as Brian Mills in Taken 4? The action-packed franchise is gearing up for a surprising comeback, but will Liam Neeson reprise his role, and what surprises does Taken 4 have in store for us? So you remember how Brian Mills' adventure started when his daughter got kidnapped in the first movie, then he went on this non-stop chase after bad guys all over the world in the next one, but things took a twist in 2015 with Taken 3. Remember in Taken 3 how Brian got blamed for his ex-wife's murder? That led to his intense chase through Los Angeles as he tried to clear his name. Some people said the third movie wasn't as smooth as the first two, but we reckon it still did what it set out to do. Even though some folks weren't sure about it, Taken 3 still made a whopping $92 million worldwide, even though it cost $48 million to make. And that just shows how much people love the series, and Liam Neeson's been talking about Taken 4, so there's hope for more adventures. So, Liam Neeson said if he'd be happy to come back for Taken 4, fans keep showing love for the movies, but can the Taken series really go on without him? Also, the guys who write the Taken movies, Robert Mark Kamen and Luke Besson, are pretty good at making prequels. They might have some cool ideas up their sleeves to keep the excitement going. One interesting thought for Taken 4 is that it could go back in time and show us Brian Mills' earlier days working for the CIA. That it'd be like a whole new chapter before the ones we already know. So if they go with a prequel for Taken 4, they could get a younger actor to play a younger version of Brian Mills. Liam Neeson could still show up in flashbacks or scenes set in the present. But let's be real, can anyone really fill Liam Neeson's shoes as Brian Mills? You know, they tried to make a Taken TV series to dig into Brian's background, showing his CIA days and all that, but it didn't quite hit the mark like the movies did. They started off strong, exploring Brian's journey after his sister died, but it couldn't keep people interested, and they just ended up cancelling it. Do you think maybe fans just couldn't get into anyone else playing Brian Mills except Liam Neeson? You know, we think that's the main problem. Taken 4 sounds exciting because it could totally change up the whole franchise. It could keep telling Brian's story, go back to his CIA days, or even bring in a whole new set of characters to explore the Taken world. You can bet Liam Neeson's character and all those intense action scenes will still grab our attention in Taken 4. This next movie could totally shake things up and surprise us, but it's been a while since we heard about Taken 4. Wonder why it's taking so long to hit the screens? Here's the biggest hurdle for a 4 Taken movie, it's finding a new exciting story. The whole series is about someone's loved ones getting kidnapped, so it's tough to come up with something fresh. Liam Neeson even joked about it on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, saying there's only so many times his daughter can get taken before he has to ask the kidnappers nicely to take her back. Each movie builds on the last one, so they've got to keep it interesting. Coming up with a fresh and exciting plot gets harder with each movie. Plus, since the first Taken was such a hit, lots of other movies try to copy its style. You've got actors like Pierce Brosnan, Sean Penn, Denzel Washington, and Guy Pearce doing similar action-packed thrillers. With so many movies trying to be like Taken, it kind of watered down what made the original special. It's hard to keep people pumped up for a fourth movie when there are so many similar ones out there. Plus, Liam Neeson not being super keen on doing another one has also slowed things down. When they first talked about Taken 4, Liam Neeson wasn't so sure about coming back. He said he didn't want to do it if they just kept kidnapping his family members, which he thought would be kind of disrespectful to viewers and himself. So instead, they went with a story about Brian Mills trying to prove he didn't kill his wife. One more thing making Taken 4 seem less likely is that Liam Neeson wants to quit action movies. Even though he's been really good at them, he's thinking of stepping back from all the action stuff in a few years. Liam knows that Hollywood mostly sees him as an action star now, but he feels like there's only so much of it he wants to do. We used to think the Taken series was done after the third one came out, and they said it was the end. I'm not comfortable putting my daughter at risk. Do not open the door for anyone. No room service, no police, no one. Thank you. My first priority is my daughter. It's interesting family. He loves his family. But you know how it goes in Hollywood. They never say never. So even though it seemed like it was over, there might be more thrilling adventures waiting for us. Looks like the Taken world isn't ready to say goodbye just yet. In 2017, they made a Taken TV series with Clive Stannon playing Brian Mills. It was kind of like a prequel to the movies, even though both were set in modern times. My condolences. I'm a director of an emergency covert team. You tackled those gunmen on the train to protect 93 other passengers. You're recruiting me. Don't let Callie die for nothing. The show followed Mills seeking revenge for his sister's death and showed his CIA days. It started off with good ratings but went downhill as the first season went on. 
For season 2, they changed things up a bit, keeping only Stanton and Jennifer Beals. But even with the fresh start, the ratings kept dropping and the show got cancelled after two seasons. This totally didn't rule out Taken 4, but it did show that fans weren't as interested unless Liam Neeson was in it. Even though nothing's official, the Taken series is flexible enough for a fourth movie to tackle anything. In Taken 3, Brian didn't kill Stuart, which showed some growth for his character, but it didn't really tie up with all the loose ends to the series for good. I like it. By the way, Carol's answering a silent alarm says there's a suspicious vehicle out front. An apparent hostage situation is unfolding. Well, Jim, details are still a bit incomplete right now, but... Get me the fucking helicopter before I start shooting people! You gotta get better plans at this house. Yeah. For a sequel, Brian could get pulled back into action by a new crisis, and Taken 3 proved that they don't have to stick to the kidnapping format. Or they could go back in time for the fourth movie, showing Neeson's character rescuing someone important from criminals again. Considering what Neeson said about the series, Taken 4 might even try having a new hero instead of him. Alright, now enough with the theories. Let's talk about facts. Now, even in Taken 3, there was a hint that the series wasn't over yet. So in Taken 3, when Kim announced that she was pregnant, fans started thinking, will the next movie have another family member getting kidnapped? Liam Neeson didn't totally rule it out when asked about Taken 4. He even joked about a funny opening scene with his co-star Force Whitaker. Their banter got fans thinking maybe there's more to come. Taken 4 could really shake things up, bringing in new challenges and villains to keep us all hooked. People love the Taken movies because they're full of action and show how far a dad will go for his family. Brian Mills is like a hero to many, and Liam Neeson's acting really connects with audiences everywhere. If Taken 4 really happens, get ready for something big. It could totally shake up the series and leave us all wondering what's next for Brian Mills' quest for justice. In the world of Taken, nothing's ever really finished, so even though they said it was the end, who knows, Taken 4 might just flip everything we thought we knew. Right now, we don't have any definite word on whether Taken 4 will happen. Liam Neeson himself said back in 2016 that he didn't think there would be another movie in the series. Even though there have been some rumors and guesses online, there's no real news to say otherwise. Without Liam Neeson on board to play Brian Mills again, we're not sure what'll happen next with the franchise. But fans are still talking about what the story could be like and if someone else might step into the lead role if they do decide to keep it going. Liam Neeson just can't stay away from the series that made him a star, but because the franchise still makes money and Liam's still great in action roles, there's a chance. Him being willing to play Brian Mills again says a lot about how good the script must be and the new direction the movie's heading in. We don't know much about Taken 4 yet. They haven't said if the writer, Luke Besson, or the director, Olivier Megaton, will be back for it, but fingers crossed they'll be part of it, since they've been a big part of what made the series great. So, are you excited to watch Taken like us? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all.